So let's look at another example. Um, so we're going to use the product rule to find the derivative of this function, which is a product. Uh, but you'll notice that in this case, we actually have a product of one, two, three things. And the product rule only tells us how to deal with the derivative of two things. Um, the reason why we only need to bother stating it for a product of two items is we know that multiplication satisfies the associative property. We're allowed to group. And grouping does not affect the outcome, right? That's what the associative property tells us. So in particular, we could choose to group the x cubed with the log x together, or we could choose to group the log x with the cos x together. So maybe we group this way. Group the natural log with the cosine, leave the x cubed out front. If we do it that way, then the product rule says f prime of x is going to be the derivative of x cubed multiplied by log x cos x plus x cubed times the derivative of log x cos x. Okay, and that's useful because once we do that, here we now have a derivative of two functions. We know how to take the derivative of two functions. So we use the product rule again. Okay. We might as well take the derivative here. We've already found it. Right. 3x squared times the other two terms. Okay, and then x cubed. And we have to multiply by the derivative of this remaining product, which means using the product rule again. So derivative of the first, f prime of x. So remember the derivative of the natural log is 1 over x, okay, times cos x plus the natural log of x times the derivative of cos, and you'll recall that the derivative of cos is negative sine. Okay. And one of the things that you'll notice is that for each of the three factors in the product we started with, right, each of them, the derivative of each one shows up and shows up exactly once. Derivative of the first, derivative of the second, derivative of the third. And in fact, if we want to, we can, we can multiply this all out and simplify a little bit. Um, if we push the x cubed through, you know, you, what you're going to find is it's going to be the derivative of the first times the second and the third, plus the derivative of the second times the first and the third, plus the derivative of the third times the first and the second, right? So you, you have for each factor in your product, you're going to get one term in your sum, Right? And each term is going to have the derivative of one of those functions multiplied by the other two. And you make sure that all those functions get hit. Okay? So we have it there. If you want to, you can simplify a little bit. x cubed times 1 over x gives x squared times cos x, bring that minus sign out front, and you're done. Okay, um, It's a good exercise to try grouping this the other way. So um, now that you've seen this, go back, try it again, but this time put the x cubed together with the log x, leave the cos x on its own, apply product rule that way. So you're going to do the derivative of this chunk times that, plus this times the derivative of cos, and then apply the product rule again for the derivative of those first two factors. Confirm that you get the same answer in the end.